back today and I'm gonna be doing a video on I don't want to say it's like my favorite things video because it's not it's more like things I've been using a lot lately and like really excited about um, like things that make me tick I don't know like I don't know yes yeah, things I've been using a lot and really like um, having I guess lately I don't know I'm gonna even call this video because it's not like favorite things it's more like things that I love like recently and lately and I've been using a lot I don't know so I hope you guys like this video um, and I don't have like a ton of things to show you but I have like enough that it will be interesting I hope so the first thing I'm gonna talk about um, is my hair and I'm not gonna put this on my this list but I just want to talk about things that I know I'm gonna get asked questions and um, so yeah it's a little bit different than last time it's a little bit thinner the extensions that I had in last time were also were by Irresistible Me. These are also Irresistible Me, but I just have less wefts in, like less strips, um, because it's summer, and I feel like um, with so many that I had so many in last time that it was really hard to dry, and um, I don't know, it was just more of a fuss. So this is less fussy, and it, it's working. It's it's better. I mean, the other ones like. When I have so many in, it's so pretty and voluptuous and just gorgeous, but it's just a lot of work. So I have right now, I have three wefts in, just for thickness and a little bit of length as well, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so that's with that, and if you guys wanna see, um, if you guys wanna know where I got them in things, I'll put a link, the link in the bottom, and I'll also add the colors that I chose because I used two different colors and I mixed them in. And then if you use that link down below, um, you can get like a further discount. So if you want to buy the hair, make sure you use that link because you'll get a better deal. All right. So next thing I'm going to talk about is I'm just going to pick things up. And um, I don't want to like go through everything and then talk about like what I have on my face again. So I'm going to talk about lipsticks. And my two favorite lip, lip glosses lately are... One by Chanel and one by L'Oreal. And they're both clear. You guys know I wear, like for the past year, I think I've been wearing just clear lip glosses. And I just feel like it's so much fre more fresh looking, non-fussy. You guys know I'm all about like the non-fussy thing. Um, the first one is by Chanel. And I have it on right now. And I love it because it just gives me that perfect amount of pink tint to my lip. It's not like an overbearing pink tint or a fake pink tint. For some reason, it just gives me like the exact tint I have, just a little bit brighter and glossy. It's number 437. And the next one I have is um, by L'Oreal and it's number 949. And it's more of like a chapstick but it's really glossy too. It's just um, something that I might wear to some more casual, like even just going down to the beach or something, I might just like swipe it on. It's like really moisturizing, but at the same time it's glossy. So if you're like me and you don't like like fussy, we have to be fussy, get this and just keep it in your purse. And it gives you a little bit of sex appeal, but at the same time um, isn't like annoying glossy lip. The next thing I wanna talk about um, is my winged liner. And that is just, um, I think I did it last time, but it's just, what I do is I take um, like your favorite kind of ink liner and just flick out from the side. I don't go like on the eyelid or anything, I just do one little flick. And I think I, I get the same dramatic look that I would if I was to like line the entire eye, but this is just a lot less makeup and I feel like it's, I don't know, I like it, I like it a lot. Then I'm gonna talk about jewelry. And um, my jewelry is by me, of course, all handmade and original designs by me. Um, and I also came out with a new line or new designs um, last week, and you guys might know that. This one is called the Lady Louis, and it's um, the pink option. This is the Flawless Diamond. This is the La Dauphine, both of these are in the cool and the warm tone. And this is the uh, Rose L'Or. So all the information to where I get these are down below as well. If you follow me on my blog, you probably would have seen me talk about this belt. <laughs> it's so funny because it's so random, but I don't, it's just hilarious. Okay, so I've been looking for a belt like this, just a really simple kind of black belt with a big buckle. A lot of the women's belts that I've noticed are like very corporate, 
or like I might find them at like All Saints or something, but they're really expensive and I've always, I'm not like gonna cheap out on a belt, but I feel like whenever I see the, a belt that I want that's expensive at like All Saints or something, I look at it and I'm like, I've seen that somewhere else. I know I can get, I know, where is it from? It's not like an All Saints design. Where is it? <laughs> and I just realized it's just like a cheap man's belt, men's belt. So I went to Walmart one day and um, was getting like supplies, like, um, you know, like cleaning supplies and stuff. And I just popped into the men's section and they had the belt that I wanted. <laughs> so you probably aren't, I don't know if you can imagine like this belt or something, how it looks. So I'm gonna like try to put up a picture right now. Of what it does look like after I talk about it on, but I wear it all the time. What I want to suggest to you this belt is it's not just like a belt to put on. Like what I do to make it look like kind of couture, not couture, but very in and modern, is when I wear my shorts, well you guys know I always wear my shorts, right? Um, I wear them really low on my hip and um, then I will take the belt, the belt that I got, this is like a size 40 in men's, it's huge, right? So I go on the very last buckle and so I have like this much hanging off the end and I let it like hang off the end of the shorts. So it, it's a very odd look. Like I have big shorts on and a big belt on. Um, I wanna put a picture up so you guys can see what I'm talking about more because it kind of sounds odd. But it just gives a really kind of cool, edgy, modern look. Um, I really like it. So I hope you guys understand when I put the picture up. But this belt was only $12, I think, or $9. And I wear it all the time. The next thing I wanna talk about is my new perfume. And I cannot tell you how much, how many times I've been to like the perfume section of like um, Bloomingdale's or whatever, trying to find a perfume that I like. I can never find a perfume. I just cannot stand anything I feel like and I drive the women there crazy, always trying to find something and then I always buy something and I don't like it. So I'll like return it or something and I feel bad. It's like so annoying because I can't find a perfume that I like. So one day I was at the Chanel counter and I just sprayed this and I liked it and I couldn't believe I liked it because I just sprayed it and liked it and that was that's so unusual for me because I don't like any scents. This one is called Cristal I think by Chanel. You know what though, I have like a really weird feeling the only reason I like it is because it's Chanel and I hope that's not the reason. I really hope because it's a very unique smell and I feel like a lot of Chanel perfumes are very kind of old lady smelling, but I don't feel like this one smells old lady. I think I like it. I've been wearing it like every day, I love it. Another thing about it is the sprayer on it is so big. I just, I don't know, I really like it. I hope I don't like it because it's just Chanel though, I don't know. Do you guys have this one? Do you like it? What do you think about it? Let me know. So my next thing that I'm really excited and loving right now and wearing all the time are my new tanks for my new like mini clothing line. And I'm not going to say I'm launching a clothing line because that's not what I wanted to do at all. I don't want to get into that. I just wanted to add a couple new things to my line. I've always wanted to do tops and if you guys have been following my blog for a while you would have known that about two years ago I think. I wanted to introduce or I wanted to launch some designs that I had done. Um, like tops or you know blouses, but just like the logistics of it never worked out. So recently, I've been able to, I was able to launch some tanks and some like dust jackets, and I launched them and they literally sold out overnight, like in three hours. So I was completely I did not expect that, and I got a lot of emails from people who still wanted them, but I couldn't get those colors again. That was it. And so now I was able to get tanks, more tanks back, and I will have dust jackets coming as well for fall, but I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to pre-order. And um, you're more than welcome to email me and I can um, um, send you an invoice for them. And a lot of you guys do that already, so um, you know kind of like what the um, process is with that. It's real easy. Um, yeah, so here are the colors, and right now I'm wearing the creme brulee color, and I don't, I don't know if it's actually coming out like the color it should be, but it's like a tan color. It almost looks like a, 
it looks very dirty. It looks blue dirty, but it's not. It's like a tan color. If you want to see these, um, you can go on to the HRH Facebook page or Instagram and you can see the colors better. But this one's called Creme Brulee. And then I have just the classic black. And this one is, um, what did I name this one? Butter Cake. And it's just like a really soft um, yellow. It looks really bright, but I think it's a softer yellow. Um, and then here is the crisp white. And the tag is here with the name, the Choice Collection. And then this one is um, Bubbling Rosé. And then the, the creme brulee that I'm wearing now. It's just like a really soft tan color. So those are those. And you guys know that I'm so picky, right? If you've been watching my videos and things, I go on rants and tangents about fits and quality and things like that. And I love these tanks, I'm telling you. So wouldn't you guys know I don't produce anything I don't really, really love. It's just like what I'm about. So if you want a tank, I would definitely say you should try them. They're really, really nice and quality and um, the fit's great too. The next thing I'm going to talk about is something that's really random, but I love it. And I wanted to think about how to tell you guys, like how to explain it. And I finally thought, like, realize how to explain it. So this is it. It's this little gadget. And if you guys also been following my blog, you would know how obsessed I am with gadget stuff. I love gadgets and I love all my gadgets to match and everything. I'm just crazy about it. But this one is more of a useful gadget because I usually buy like things that I don't like use ever, right? Like, I feel like I never use my iPad and stuff like that. Just I bought it because it all matches. So I don't know, I'm retarded, sorry. <laughs> so um, this is by Lenmar. And I'm not gonna lie, they sent me this, but there was no kind of, they just wanted to send it to me, that was it. I didn't have to talk about it or anything or I could have just put it on Instagram or something like that. But I really wanna talk to you guys about it because I genuinely, find it so useful and I use it literally every day, all day. So what it is, is I was trying to like think about how to tell you guys what it is and it's like a portable wall socket, okay? So how many times are you sitting on your bed or on your bed, like on the couch or somewhere where, and your phone dies and you have to go like plug your phone in like by your bed or like away from the couch and you wanna like go on like Instagram or you wanna text your friends and stuff but you can't because your phone is being charged in like another room or another area but you're watching a movie. Happens to me all the time because my, my phone dies so often. So this, all I do is I plug it in and you can do it for your phone or your laptop or your PDA, anything. And then I plug it into my phone and then I push this button and it charges. So now I can like sit on my couch and have my phone charging. <laughs> and I can't even tell you guys like how exciting that is. I don't know why I'm so excited about it, but it's so useful because I hate not having my phone with me when I'm watching TV, okay? It's so weird. Also, this is really funny, but I have like a really big king size bed and I always sleep, of course, because I'm so annoying, I always sleep on the side that my phone is not plugged into, like there's no socket on, so I can never like have my phone in bed. So this time I'm not gonna have my phone in bed. <laughs> it's like really good for trips and stuff too, and like it's a great little portable thing, it's like as big as my phone. Um, but so useful, and I think it's only like $100 or $90 or something, um, and you, it comes in all different colors. There is the, name, but I'll put the information below. I promise you, like this is the coolest thing ever and I'm such a nerd, but you guys know I love my gadget, so it's not that nerdy. Um, but this one is actually a useful one, so I don't know. Love this thing so much, I can't even tell you. <laughs> so excited about it. Um, and I'm sure like the company is excited, I'm actually talking about it, but it's so cool. Thank you so much. I love this thing. I can like have my phone charged and it lasts forever. Okay, I'm talking way too much about it. It lasts forever, okay. I wasn't even asked to talk about it, but I had to talk about it, okay. Okay, then I'm gonna talk about something that you guys have probably seen also on my Instagram. Um, I did splurge and I got the medium flap Chanel in caviar leather in the black. And I've been, I vowed to myself after my the beige one, I was never gonna get one again because the prices are so outrageous. It's, I don't want it, it, the price is retarded, like ridiculous, crazy, like so expensive. But I had so many like gift cards and 
like merchandise credits and stuff from gifts and all that that I I did put money in it but I did not put like a lot of money or like a ridiculous amount of money in so what I did is I just knew that if I kept saving like gifts and stuff and gift cards and things I could get so I could finally get close to it close enough where I didn't feel so bad pitching in for it so that's how I got it <laughs> but this is it and I love it. You guys have seen these before, but um, the, the size is very nice. And the only thing I don't like about it is I wish that the strap was longer because I can do crossbody, but it ends at like my waist when I wish it would end like below my waist. But that's it. So you guys have been probably seeing me wearing this a lot lately. And the inside is a double flap. And they don't make single flaps anymore apparently. I asked the lady there. My beige one is a single flap. This is double. And I don't really mind it. I don't even notice the difference, so it's good. I'm very happy to have it. I love it so much. It's kind of a necessity in my collection, and she's beautiful. I almost got the silver, but the lady talked me out of getting the silver. She said that I should get the um, gold because of my hair, and I already have the tiny, the smaller silver one, um, and I'm happy that she told me to get the gold. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to talk about, and I think it's the last thing, are, are my shorts. And I get so much, like, so many complaints from a lot of people on Instagram and my blog about, the sh about me wearing my shorts. You guys are so tired of the shorts and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's all I ever wear, which is true. That is true. All I ever wear is my shorts, practically. Um, I wear one teaspoon shorts literally day and night. I wear them to like occasions, on a date, with my fiance, with friends, to the beach, to the supermarket. I wear them everywhere, to dinner. But I would dress them up and down. I put a blazer on with them. Or I'll put like a beachy, like flowy top for the beach with, you know, like a bathing suit underneath. They're just so versatile. And I, the cut is so pretty. Or the, set, the cut is so flattering, I feel like, and like mod, that they just work. I love it. So, I don't know. Um, these are the first ones, and I got them all in a size 29, 29 just so you guys know. I wear them low on the hips, and um, usually with my Walmart belt, um, and I just love them. So, I have them in the, these are the Bonitas, and these are the Bandits. And I talked about them last time, but I wanted to talk about them again. And these are a different color that I got in a dark one. These are my dressy ones. These are the ones I dress up. <laughs> okay, well, actually, one more thing. Uh, this is my new pillow I wanted to talk about. So funny. So, um, I, like, uh, me, a year and a half ago, I went to Bloomingdale's, and I saw that Diane DVF, Diane von Furstenberg, had a, some pretty kind of, like, um, bedding out. And I remember I bought a Euro sham and like the insert for it, and it was really expensive. It was like over $100 for the pillow and the sham. But I loved this print so much that I didn't care, and it was like right when I was almost liking color, so I was kind of excited that I liked color, so I splurged on it. I was at Marshall's this week, and I found a pillow. It's on a Euro sham, or a Euro size, but it's still a big, nice pillow for my couch, on sale for $15. I was like excited and so mad because of the money I spent at Bloomingdale's on the other one for my bed. But that's okay. I want to tell you guys this. If you guys live in California, if you guys live in Irvine, where I, where I got it, I love Irvine so much. I miss how clean um, it is there. <laughs> that's where I used to live. Um, if you guys live in Irvine and you want this pillow, they have like 30 of them or something at the Marshalls in the center with um, the chilies and the sprouts and the marshals. It's like near the Target. I think it's on Alton and Culver. Yeah. So go because they're only $15 and they're so pretty and I spent so much money on the other one. Such a waste. So that's it. I hope everyone loved this video. Um, I thought it was kind of informative and fun, but everyone's doing really, really well, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.